Hello everybody, this is Pitch Skull Black here, and welcome back to what is the first video I am recording in my new place. A Doc 2 DVD on the rescue as a part of my 10th anniversary videos. So without further ado, let us begin this review. So for the cover art, we have BBC DVD, Doc 2, The Rescue. The William Hartnell years 1963 to 66 with a picture of the man himself down there. You and DVD. And for the main artwork itself, we have Vicky being menaced by Coquillian against the backdrop and landscape of the planet Dido. With a very nice kind of starry nebula explosion like effect in the background. Very nice, simplistic kind of cover art. And then we have the spine. A few DVD bits at the top there. Doctor Who, picture of William Hartnell, The Rescue. Continuation of the background of Dido. BBC, second entertain logo. And then we have the back of this DVD. We have various pictures from the story at the top there. Doctor Who, starring William Hartnell. The Rescue by David Whittaker, Synopsis, Special Features and various other bits and pieces down here such as You contains no material likely to offend or harm or the other way around as the DVD puts it and the runtime is 49 minutes approximately. When the TARDIS lands on the supposedly peaceful planet Dido at the end of the 25th century, the Doctor, Barbara and Ian discover a crashed spaceship waiting for help. The only survivors have been murdered by natives apart from a young orphaned girl and a paralysed man. But who is the strange creature, Coquillian, that they are afraid of? And will they remain safe long enough to be rescued? And then you've got the special features down here. And then for the interior, we have the single disc of the story and the chapter points for the two episodes in the story. When we also have the booklet, there's the front of it and the interior of it with the chapter points as already shown. Doctor Who has been going on for 60 years now and these days we are quite used to companion departures. It is often that we would be watching a story mainline to the particular series of the show and they will depart and leave the TARDIS crew at the end of the episode by some means or another. For the first time where the main characters get swapped around however, we instead get what is essentially a divergence and bridging story and something that is a more minor footnote but an important one in the overall second season of the show. It's definitely a story worth checking out if you're either curious about it or a fan of these characters, but the story itself isn't one of the most major moments in the overall collection of second series episodes. What you're watching here is more of a character piece. David Whittaker, who previously works on a similar story in the previous batch being The Edge of Destruction, is the writer of The Rescue, and they did a great job of delivering the main characters once again. The First Doctor definitely has his moments and highlights within the story. This is the first one where we see him without his granddaughter Susan, and there is a really good moment at the start of episode 1, the powerful enemy, in which he forgets that she has left calling out to her in the TARDIS from a state of habit. Between Hartnell's character and Russell's and Hill's, there's a heartwarming piece of development as shown and displayed as well, with Ian and Barbara seen to be looking on at the TARDIS controls while the captain of the ship laps in the corner. Susan was frequently shown in season one manning the controls, so to speak. So here is a nice piece of development for me to see these other companions stepping up to her spot and realising that the Doctor might need help, as his granddaughter presented to him while piloting the machine. 
The two already established companions are shown to be concerned and considerate of the Time Lord as well, with them knowing how long he has been with Susan, how it might affect him, and one of them saying that he can't forget about it in the next minute. Despite being a filler and bridging story overall, there is a great amount of lore and sense of depth established in the rescue as well. Like with the Coquillian face being shown in many parts of the story, i.e. such with various cave edifices at the end of episode 1, and it adorning things seen in the chamber within episode 2. And the Doctor saying that he has been to the planet Dido before with him showing his knowledge and intellect of the planet and the inhabitants. His caring and amusing side is also shown very well in the story, such as him talking to himself about what to say to Ian about landing on the planet Dido in episode 1, and him comforting Vicky in desperate measures. The character chemistry is very well done here as well, showing that David Whittaker really knows what he is doing with the companions and the Doctor. Plus, with him having to write a completely new one, it really allows him to explore their facets and different parts of them. In the second episode, when all four are brought together for the first time, there are moments between them that are really well done and sets up this new TARDIS crew very well. I particularly like the conversation between the companions while the Doctor is looking for Bennett. Uh, Vicky says that she's from the year 2493 and Ian and Barbara say that they are from 1963, including the latter's line, We are from Earth, but it goes a bit deeper than that. The character stuff is all extremely well done and is a very interesting and rewarding watch for a big fan of them like myself. The production values are very well done, and the world of Dido is greatly realised, with excellent pieces of design and set work. The caves that are featured and the rocket ship set are fantastic, plus the overall look and creation of Coquillian is brilliant and a very memorable creation from the First Doctor's era. Overall, whereas not very standout in terms of story, it does shine with the characters, and I think David Whittaker did an exceptional job writing them. As a massive fan of these main figures, I do find this a very rewarding and brilliant watch in that regard, so I would highly recommend watching it for that reason if you are a fan of them. Personally, I would rate The Rescue a 7 out of 10. A really good, small, bridging type of story for our main characters, and some excellent production values to be had. The character stuff is all extremely well done, and is a very interesting and rewarding watch for a big fan of them like myself. The story itself is quite a standard type of story, with Bennett wanting to cover up his tracks after a criminal action, and the Doctor and co getting involved. I'm not sure if the former's plan makes much sense, but at the end of the day, I've been mainly watching this as a curiosity for the characters. 